you've got some great testimonials. Uh, a lot of people have been using the app and using it and loving it. And what kinds of things are you hearing back from people? Well, it's always so wonderful and so exciting to hear when a parent notices their child doing something for the first time. Um, recently, one of my own clients, uh, she used to just, she's about 11 years old, she used to just um, swing the door wide open when I would come, grab my iPad, run away, not say a word to me. Uh, after working with my method um, through the app, she now understands these unwritten social rules, or what we call social skills. For example, hospitality. Why swinging the door wide open, grabbing something, running away, why is that not socially acceptable? What is the conversation, the communication behind that? Now, on her own, I did not teach this to her as a skill. Uh, she just learned this through my methodology. She now opens the door. Hi, Karen, come on in. <laughs> Sometimes if it's a hot day, she'll offer me some water or ice cream. <laughs> um, and she will ask, what are we going to do today? As she closes the door behind her and she walks along with me. So I was her mother and I were just shocked yeah. because this is a first for her. Well, really incredible. You had said to me during the break that when you buy the first, uh, when you buy the app without any expansion packs after that, it kind of meets the child or the individual right where they are. Tell us what that, what that means. Mm -hmm. So the first conversation, um, the, the parents can fill out, uh, it's like a checklist, it's called a parent assessment of where they think their child's abilities are. And the child works through the first conversation and based on data collection, the system comes up with a conversation ability score. And based on that score, the system advances the child to the next best suitable conversation level for him, whether it be novice, intermediate, skilled, or advanced. Okay. So the first, the first conversation is um, also an evaluation or assessment tool as well to put the child at his or her correct level and then once they go to the second conversation or the second module the second lesson the same thing happens there the parents can redo their assessment this the system is going to come up with another score and depending upon that score will again lead them to the next ability level and so on and so forth so i can have conversations with you is not only a treatment uh, tool, but it's also an evaluation, ongoing assessment and evaluation tool. Love that. Really incredible. And again, we want to tell people that they can get this at the App Store. It is currently only for the iPad. Do you have plans at some point to put this out for phones and for Androids? Definitely for the uh, Android tablet. When I first started with my um, software programmers back in 2013, the iPad had the biggest market penetration. Yeah. But since then, of course, uh, Android tablets have, uh, you know, become very big as well. And yes, I do have a vision <laughs> to have it available on all tablets, um, especially because tablets and technology, uh, science is showing us that children with autism make maximize their gains learning through tablets and technology. And the kids with autism love working on tablets. They're lightweight, they're portable, they're interactive. Yeah. What, a, what better mode? It's the most ideal mode. Phones, um, I do not have any plans for phones simply because um, two key reasons. One, the phone is too small to display everything that I need to. Okay. And two, a phone is more uh, not like a tool uh, for learning. A tablet is more of a tool for learning. A phone is more like having fun, playing games, chatting. Yeah, <laughs> with love friends. it. No, I love it, and I and I love that um, there is something uh, so much better about being on a tablet. You've got more space in which to work, and it, and they're auto automatically reinforcing for our kids on the autism spectrum. Karen, I think you've done a, a brilliant thing here. This is very exciting. We want to encourage people to check it out in the App Store. I can have conversations with you, and of course, your website is. I can for F O R I can for autism dot com. Karen, we want to thank you for being with us. We want to thank you for all the good work that you're doing. You mentioned that you also um, have a private practice. If people are in New Jersey and they want to contact you, should they do that through the I can for autism? 
Yes, I mean, not just New Jersey. I welcome any and all um, questions, comments, concerns, anything. I, uh, I love to share knowledge. Well, that's a wonderful thing.